Welcome to our lecture online and here's our second example of how to apply the superposition technique. Here we have a, a circuit with two sources. We have a current source and a voltage source in the same circuit. We can break it apart into two circuits, one that only has the current source and one that only has the voltage source. Now notice the difference here. When we remove the voltage source, we simply short it out, short out that circuit. But when we remove the current source, we take it out and we have an open in the circuit. So we handle them differently. By removing a current source, we open the circuit. By removing the voltage source, we short the circuit where the voltage source used to be. At any rate, what we're trying to do is find the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor here. And we're going to do that by finding it in this circuit here, then by finding it in this circuit, then simply doing the algebraic sum. Starting with the first circuit here, we realize we have a 5 amp current that will then split up between the two branches. Notice that the right branch has a total resistance of 5 ohms and the left branch has a total resistance of 5 ohms, which means the same amount of current will go through each of the two branches. Half will go to each branch, that means 2.5 amps will go to this branch and 2.5 amps will go to the other side. So 2.5 amps will go through this branch. What that means is I can now calculate V across the 2 ohm resistor. I know that the current is equal to V over R, Ohm's law, which means that the voltage will be equal to I times R. In this case, the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor will be equal to the current 2.5 amps times the resistance 2 ohms, which is equal to 5 volts. Now we'll do that again with the second circuit. Notice in this case we simply have a single branch or a single loop with a 12 volt voltage source which means that current I will be equal to V divided by the total resistance that will be equal to 12 volts divided by 5 plus 3 plus 2 total of 10 ohms which is 1.2 amps through the circuit. We can now use that to find the voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistor V across the 2 ohm resistor V across the 2 ohm resistor is equal to I times R the current 1.2 amps, the resistance 2 ohms, this is equal to 2.4 volts. Now we can see that the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor here, voltage across the 2 ohm resistor is equal to V1 plus V2. We can simply add the two voltages together. 5 volts plus 2.4 volts is equal to 7.4 volts. And that's how we use the superposition technique to solve four more complicated circuits by separating them, each having their own source, and then adding them the results of those algebraically. And that's how it's done.